Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Morning. Is this Dr. Stephen Porter? It is. Okay. I just need. I've got four Dr. Porters. You would not believe that on my schedule this morning. I just want to make sure I got the right <laughs> one. Here we go. We go live. I'm waiting for my producer. And here we go. Good morning, Dallas. I want to thank you guys for joining us. Look, I hope you guys voted yesterday. I early voted. I stood in those lines, and I expect the same thing out of all of the listeners. But let's turn our attention a little bit today to Dr. Stephen Porter. He's here in the studio with me with a great topic, something that is impacting all of us, and he's with the Mayo Clinic. Dr. Porter, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Well, today is the Mayo, well, we're going to talk about the Mayo Clinic Fifth National Health Checkup Address for the National Open, excuse me, the nation's opioid epidemic. That word keeps coming into my, my, my life every day, uh, doctor. What can you tell us that, that can make a difference here? Because we're going to talk about Take Our Drugs Back Day. Yes, um, great opportunity to talk about this very, very important topic. So the health checkup is a survey where we kind of put our finger to the pulse of Americans' knowledge of health practices. And in this fifth edition, we focused on opioid use. I heard uh, yesterday someone mentioned just uh, we're almost moving to the millions of people who have been impacted by opioid use. So this is a timely uh, survey. Is there anything that the survey told you that we don't know? Of course. So finding out what people, uh, people's current understanding is is always um, new information. So we found a few things. One, with regard to the take back day that you mentioned. Americans do not know how to properly dispose of their opioid pain medications. So let's talk specifics for that. A little bit later this month, I would direct your listeners to the DEA or FDA websites to find out locations and times for bringing their opioid pain medications and other controlled substances for proper disposal. Two, we found that the majority the vast, vast majority, nearly all Americans, are interested in alternatives to opioids uh, for pain following, for example, surgery. However, few patients are actually speaking with their doctors or providers about um, alternatives to opioids or the risk of addiction. That's uh, uh, very startling information. Let me ask you. What are opioids? We talk about those all the time. We know the word. It's a part of our pop culture. But what are our opioids? Yes, opioids are, uh, include a number of um, strong pain medications, um, originally you know, related to opium, um, commonly uh, prescribed um, oral pain medication that you probably have heard about um, currently would include things like hydrocodone, oxycodone, um, and Sometimes they may have trade names like Vicodin, Percocet, if you're ad ad adding uh, acetaminophen to them. However, opioids would also include um, illicit street medications such as he heroin and fentanyl that are also uh, opioids. That's interesting because I know fentanyl is a prescribed drug. Uh, I've had the opportunity to work with a relative who used fentanyl, and it was kept under wraps and... They couldn't mail it. I had to pick it up. So there were some strict guidelines, and people still over abuse these drugs, obviously. Yes. Commonly, I would, my guess is that most commonly medications like fentanyl are used in a hospital in an IV formulation, but there are additional formulations, um, as, you, as you mentioned, that may be used outside of a hospital setting. When we're talking about prescribing opioids, you say we're not talking to our doctors, but pretty much... Americans are very passive about doctors. Whatever the doctor says, that's what we do. 
So the doctors are prescribing these things. How do we get the doctors to talk about the guidelines, to tell us what we need to know? Great question. You know, Mayo Clinic's opioid stewardship program has tried to take this on firsthand. Um, We started with uh, prescribing. We started with the supply side. What are our rational evidence-based prescribing guidelines for opioids uh, for acute pain, for example, following surgery? We need to decrease the variability and variation of prescribing practices and focus on what's our, what are um, treatments or surgeries or procedures that have a, um, a need for strong analgesics or pain medications such as opioids. And what are some procedures or surgeries that may not need them at all? And if they don't need them, let's not prescribe them. Today, my guest is Dr. Stephen Porter. He's a medical doctor. He's an anesthesiologist and an expert in pain management at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. Stephen, just doing this survey itself seems to be something that we need to know. How can my audience find out more of the details of the survey? Is there a place they can go on the web? Of course. Thanks, Thanks for asking. So mayoclinic.org is a great launch point for a lot of these questions. You'll find links from there to many um, areas. However, there's also a search bar where you could type in, for example, opioids or any medical topic to look for resources. Um, again, with specific, relate, specifically related to the opioid take back or the controlled substances take back program, I would recommend for your listeners that they look at the DEA or FDA websites, but uh, mayoclinic.org has a lot of resources with, for opioid um, questions and a lot of questions and answers. Because as you mentioned, sometimes at the doctor visit or the provider visit, the patient may or may not be comfortable asking certain questions. And so this is another resource for them when they have time and ability to process this information a little better. I like that. That gives them the privacy. They can do it in their own home. And also, I want my audience to remember that October the 27th is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. Please participate. Pay. Clear out your medicine cabinet. Make a good contribution. Doctor, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Dr. Porter, you've been very, very helpful in giving us better information. Have a great day. Thanks for the opportunity. Have a great day as well.